Well, I, you know, I guess that means we're ready to do the thing. All right, both players are ready. This is Alex versus Eric in round one. Let's count this down right now in three, three two, two, one, Tetris! Tetris. Buko. Right away, we see a little bit of uh, divergence in the starters, which is always fun to see, especially at this higher level play. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about trying to play with optimized stacking, but really we don't know what that actually is. It's a lot of little different decisions being made all the time, even amongst top tier players. Beautiful to see. I just think it's interesting to, to see other people's approaches and, and get to understand where they're coming from and what their headspace is whenever they make those decisions. Absolutely. Genuinely, the, the most fascinating part of Tetris is just seeing people solve the puzzle because, you know, at the end of the day, it is an endless puzzle that just goes on forever. A bit of an uh, S spire here for Eric. Uh, trying to avoid making the L dependency, handles it nicely, does eventually get the L, so it feels a little empty, but getting the Tetris is Ooh. awarded. 114,000 points here for Eric. And on the other side, uh, just shy of 100K, uh, and very Tetris ready, and there it is, slamming it down, going up to 116, Alex T. Yeah, so Eric's got another J dependency, but they're getting it. Yep, great pieces. I'll be honest, the people are going to hate hearing this, but I love a J dependency. Mm. I'll be so J dependent any day. When I see a J dependency, I don't even panic anymore. Yeah, and the J's do come more often than the L's. Only technically, technically, but 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 I do like to hoist that technicality above my head and chant its name as though it is gospel. Absolutely. So, <laughs> yes, the J is more common as a matter of fact. A nice little cleanup there from Eric after a Tetris. Had a bit of, um, I don't know how to call it other than LJ parody. You know, I say it all right. the time, there has to be a name somewhere. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, parody where instead of a checkerboard, it's like, it's two. A t yeah, yeah, the too tall, yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, handling it nicely, slamming down another Tetris, 232,000. And on the other side, for Alex, who's also taking another, uh, 214. Players separated by about a Tetris and a half as they come. See, again, with that Tetris making that gap more like a half <laughs> than a whole. Right, right. <laughs> so it's really even right now. Really close considering that uh, Alex was also a Tetris worth of lines in the past, which yes. means now having met that same level, the, the scores get closer. Uh, something, something, the way pace works, something, something. So Alex got a little bit of a situation here. That's some, some parity issues. A sort of elevated Corian thing to start really handling this oh, beautifully timed beautiful. L right there. Yes. All right, that T is perfect, and the well is open. That's a Tetris Boom. there. Tetris Going from 269, hey, now to 292. At 70 lines, currently Tetris ready. Going to be able to slam down another. And on the other side, uh, Eric's currently sitting at 374, trying to make a lead here, and is doing so successfully. Uh, is about... What is that, two Tetrises ahead? Two Tetrises, actually more like three ahead right now. I don't know, I don't know how to do math. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I asked you, so Well, confused. now there are only two ahead, so. We've got a parody issue there, but it's uh, starting right. to be resolved for Alex. Sorry, Eric, oh my god. <laughs> I was staring at, I, I immediately started staring at Eric's Tetris. All right. Eric's definitely got a lot of Tetris over there to stare at. Uh, I think that's a definite segue into saying 425,000 <laughs> points worth of Tetris yeah. over there for Eric. And on the other side, 387 points worth of Tetris <laughs> here for Alex. A fun little overhang tuck situation there solved with the Z. 
I always love anything that's a solve with a Z. The Z is a little obscure at times. Huh. In my opinion. Yeah. It is more obscure than the S. Yes. And in fact, I think the, the red pieces are just, in general, more obscure. Well, it has to do with the way they rotate in comparison to their blue counterparts. They're just a little harder to control. Okay, Alex getting up a little bit high, but has a nice sloping, roughly, left to right field. Oh, what an adjustment to make room for the long bar for the Tetris. So easy Honestly, I was so impressed with how quickly he handled that spire because there was quite that that gorge in the middle, but but it evened out so quickly and, and ended up with now another Tetris sitting at 486,000 points. And on the other side, 551,000. Another one of those little Z overhang tucks. Uh, very fun to watch. Just a, a neat little setup into a Tetris. Uh, transition is coming here for Eric very soon. Uh, only a pinch of lines. And Alex also... Oh, double tucks right there for yeah. Alex. Very nicely done. Not to mention one of them was a key tuck. Yes. Ooh, a bit of a... Burning into transition there. Both players, as a matter uh, of fact. Neck and neck. 2,000 points apart. The transition could not have been closer unless it was like spot on, genuinely. Absolutely. And this, we could already have match up or match up the entire day right here. Yeah, oh yeah, this is really close, very tense, but these players look so focused. There we go, another Tetris there for Boom. Eric. 642,000 for Eric, 657,000 for Alex. Mr. And Trump Eric has square. quite a bit to manage over yeah. here. Gets that long bar over and a nice very square. helpful square piece. Eric's getting this down bit by bit. Beautiful. That wherewithal, that holding out for that piece and into a Tetris. No, nope, just a triple. Was it just there. a triple? Yeah, that is triple. so sad. Yeah, but... <laughs> that would have been the most beautiful, filthy Tetris. But Eric... I also can't count. <laughs> Eric doesn't mind, though. They're hanging in there. I love a triple. Triples are actually worth quite a bit of points. Speaking of, as Alex takes that triple into a Tetris, going up to 773,000 points, and on the other side, uh, we have Eric, who's currently sitting at, with that Tetris, 719,000 points. Um, based on the score multiplier, I'm not gonna be able to actually do the math, but the players are separated by the, three Tetrises? Yeah. About? Yes. Still going really fast here. Was able to fill in that hit in the middle. Eric with another Tetris and on the other side, just getting Tetris ready once again. Isn't that far off? Beautiful slope and a perfect, there it goes. Boom, Tetris there for Alex. 896,000 points and on the other side, 817. It seems like the scores are kind of stabilizing and we're no longer seeing fluctuation between the actual space between the, the score gap. Absolutely. So Eric uh, firmly trying to make up that lead um, with that Tetris, gonna just be a little bit closer to trying to do so, but honestly, just pouring on this efficiency, 966,000 here for Alex, who is just on a rip and tear. Okay, some tough, tough miss drop up there for Eric, but they're gonna get that down. Another tough miss drop right there. There is, there is a solve here. Looking for a long piece, there it is. Another one would do all those squares are tough. More oh. squares, but the Z is gonna keep that open. Oh, it's really beautiful. Beautiful right long there. bar there. Own is bringing it down. Come on, does get another long bar. Able to get that all the way over. Chooses not to create the long bar dependency. The intelligent move. T spin it's hits it. Boom. Has to be aware. Kill screen is impending. Currently at, uh, what is it? Like, it's. Well, one of the snacks, actually. Oh my god. Wait. So Eric is down by more than 100,000 points going into the kill screen. They're going to need to work some magic right here, but it's getting up really high for Eric. And All right, that's kill screen. Do, Not no, going to be able to get anything over. And Alex takes game number one. You going to get that dot up there? Wow, that was intense. Producer Pompey coming in real quick. We can add these in post this card. In three, three two, two, one, Tetris! Tetris.
Here we go. Classic SZS start. <laughs> oh, don't you just love to see it? Everybody setting up tucks. And there you go, the sacks flattening out. Both players Tetris ready. We have yet to see the long bar just yet, but of course the moment we do, both players should smack it down. Boom there we go. Boom. I'd consider that a simul Tetris. Yeah. I'll call it a simul Tetris for the people. Simul Tetri. Tetris players love that shit. <laughs> I mean, because they didn't Tetris at the same time, but, but they, they Tetris, Tetris at the, the same, same line. line. Exactly. Because neither of them had burned yet. They were both waiting on the first Tetris. That's basically the same time, in my opinion. And there it is. Boom, Tetris for Eric. A nice little resolve over there on the left side for Alex, who had uh, a little bit to contend with, but handled, handled it all beautifully. Yeah, and Eric handled that J dependency on the left side really well. He does have a long bar dependency. Oh, and then a, a little miss, miss flippy right there. He's but able there to get it nice into a Tetris. Tetris. Has a T-spin opening. Teaspoon, we all want to see it. But there's Isn't other able ways to find around it. it. There's other ways around it. But honestly, it. this burn solve was a very, was very nice solution probably, for it as well. Yeah, potentially, the potentially the best solution outside of the T-spin. Absolutely. And there you go, rewarded with a Tetris and firing right back, Alex. But players uh, are past the 100k points. We have 141 for Alex T, and on the other side, 121 for Eric. Oh, nice Tetris for Eric. Yeah, real high up at the top, just flings that long bar over. I love that S flat, and another Tetris for Eric. Uh huh. And looking for a J here now. Now the other, now it's an L. <laughs> uh, the long bar is going to finally be what burns it off. And uh, with that well back open is Tetris ready. Ooh, Ooh slight misdrop there. Misdrop right there. Uh, definitely manageable, but this uh, these little misdrops are adding up. As we see, Alex T currently at 215. And on the other side, Eric is sitting at 196. So there is a tiny little gap forming between the two, and if Eric doesn't really uh, keep his finger on the pulse there, it can become something unmanageable, or rather less than manageable. Absolutely. Both players doing exactly what they need to do. Alex has a nice little T. Doesn't want to wait for the T, so it's gonna just go ahead and build on top of it. Is he gonna to try to build? No, it's not gonna build dirty on that left well. Does have a T-spin set up here now though too. Oh, the block stop at the last second, oh, but it's no. okay. But another nice Beautiful solve, burn solve for it. not getting the T. Yeah. That was another great workaround for a tragically missed T-spin. Sometimes the T just doesn't come and you can't force yourself to be T-dependent. I mean, come on. <laughs> Ooh, what a tuck for Eric right there. High up J-tuck. Up top. Really, really okay. working the top of that board. Really wants to make sure that this is able to come down. Has Looking a, for a, a square. Anything a with a flat bottom wide. does get it. Ooh, and it gets that L to the left. Nice L double. Give us that Incredible long survival there. There it is. Boom. And there, Tetris the cherry Eric. on top. That Tetris. And another one currently at 348,000 points. And uh, on the other side, slamming one down two, three, 45. So both players incredibly close in score now. As a matter of fact, I would call attention to the status of neck. That meaning <laughs> and, neck and. <laughs> I, love I, love, I love butchering Tetris jokes. <laughs> it's like I say Tetri on purpose because Tetris oh. players go, Ugh. And Eric's up high once again, but they got it, they got it. Bring it down. Yeah. The world champ go. showing you the entire playbook right here. Nice. Beautiful J burn double. there. Oh, yes. And it's going to open that well back up. It's open. Things are looking comfortable. Going to need to keep grooming this, but is able to get a Tetris nonetheless, bringing it down to a much, comfor much more, more comfortable com level yeah. into another Tetris. Currently sitting at 406. And on the other side, does have a hole at the bottom of the stack, uh, but is able to uh, get access to it with uh, one more burn, it seems. Uh, currently sitting at 444 is Alex T. So players separated by N Tetris. Oh, let's look at Eric's board. Eric hung that L on the left side. So Eric just fighting these misdrops all game, but has been able to get out of every single one. It's been so impressive. Even to watch. despite the misdrops, the efficiency is still incredibly Absolutely. impressive. 
and still only down by just less than two Tetrises. The transition is looming uh, more for Alec, uh, Eric, I combined them both, more for Eric than Alex. Just so much, ooh, dirty Tetris set up here for Alex too. Or should I say Alex T, ha. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, dang. And had to burn just before, okay. but is just going to go ahead and clean Air this transitions. up, which is the smart move to make. Yes. Uh, 474 there for Eric and 505 for Alex upon transition. And opens that well back up, desperately looking for a long bar here. Isn't going to get it. Yeah, a little bit of a reversal now. Alex is the one has to really be careful here, trying to keep this open. Nice T to keep it open, but yeah, the long bar just didn't go, show up in time. Ooh. Oh, and that could have been a misdrop of that L. Hangs it up high. What can Alex do here? It's really, really making some incredible burn decisions. Absolutely. Bringing this back down so quickly, despite how fast it creeped Still up. Open. Yeah. But now the lead has shifted over. Eric is suddenly all the way in the lead, up by almost 100,000 points. We have 611,000, that is to say, for Eric. And on the other side, 525 for Alex. So I'd say like three Tetris is separating yes. them. It's a huge lead. Especially in post transition, both of these players are gonna do everything they can to not give this up, not in post. Ooh, up high. Oh, is nice able stuff. to get that long bar, just barely Absolutely. gets it over at that last possible second. Slams it down nonetheless. Tetris ready, here it goes. Boom, Tetris for Eric. Crossing the 700k point, 728 to 615 on the other side. Again, you see that that lead, it's still sort of the same, but oh! Oh, oh. The, t the hang of the oh, L, that, the J on the left It's side. a chase down, this is a chase down. Alex 674 needs. is your goal. No, Six, the goal is 729,000. Sorry, seven, I did this opposite yeah. of the, 705 is 729. the current score. Yes. Uh, 186 <laughs> lines, which means there's plenty of runway to get this. Plenty of runway. Can definitely line it out. Honestly, the smartest thing to do would be, would line, be it out. line it out. Yeah, I mean, we are talking about world-class players, but still, you never sometimes, know. Yeah. Sometimes people will throw it away for a Tetris, but it's, it's never worth it. And here we are, uh, less than 15,000 points away from overtaking this lead. Just needs a couple more burns here, a handful. A pinch, a smattering even. All right, keeps there it going. Go. Just Almost a couple there. more burns. Yeah, that triple should do it. There it is. And there Alex you go. Alex taking the second game as well. All right, and with the ready from both players, I do believe it's about time that we count it down. Down. In three, three two, two, one, Tetris. Tetris. Alex dropping his controller at the start. No penalty points for that one. It's part of the grip, it's part of the grip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here we go. Both players off and running with the first the first Tetris on the board. Wow, wow. I actually, you know what? You can have that. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love how Eric is just remaining poised. They're the world champ. I love their t-shirt. It's oh yeah, it's so calm. It's that, like, it has that that good good synthwave energy. Exactly. That I love this retro like color burn. It's so fun. Um, and then like the actual imagery is just very like synthwave. Exactly. Like it feels vapor wavy sometimes, <laughs> almost a little bit maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So they may be you know down to zero, but honestly it doesn't matter. They're having fun playing some Tetris, some kick-ass Tetris. Honestly, what I think the best part is, is is despite the uh, the way that the games have played out, they're still really putting the, the effort forth and, and just going all in and oh, making yeah. these incredible adjustments. And it, it's just, it's it's obviously, with that T-spin there for Alex, it's obviously more than just a competition. It's, it's about being able to perform well, even, yes. even if you Let's are losing or that is how it's Eric's perceived. Board. Every time Eric gets in these situations, they always, always find a way out. It's so I, inspirational. I held my breath for a moment because I knew that it would be solved before I breathed out. 
Uh, and with that, oh, a, nice a bit wow. of a, a bit of a fancy burns up here at the top. A beautiful wow, L there Eric. into a Tetris. One thirty-one for Eric, and on the other side, one fifty-two for Alex. And slamming down another, make it one seventy-five. Filling in that LJ dependency. And squaring out that well into a Tetris, gonna be able to slam down another. Nicely done. I mean, if we're if we're gonna be talking about lovely shirts, maybe at some point when we get the chance to see its full glory, but there's a cute little guy here on Alex's shirt, just a, a, a fun little buddy. Uh, <laughs> It's cute, I, and I think the texture on the shirt is fun, and I'm biased to the color purple right now, so because <laughs> my hair is purple, I love the purple. Uh, and with that, yeah. another Tetris, and another one, wow. If you want to talk about Alex's jersey, you got to talk about Sharky's gauntlet. That, oh, that, that is a jersey that's... for uh, Alex. Alex is the captain of the Drywellers in Sharky's uh, uh, gauntlet season. So, Drywellers yeah. is yeah. A, painful a painful thing <laughs> to, to have heard. Don't drywell kids, always use lube. Uh, <laughs> oh. We have a 291,000 points here for Eric, and on the other side, 311 for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try well, guys. <laughs> Why is it dusty? <laughs> Sorry. I can't get my long bar in the Tetris well. It's too dry. Oh, man. Anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop, I swear. Oh, there is enough. I don't, there was, there's, there's enough well to go yeah, around for all of these players. Yes. Uh, as, as we can tell, Eric Tetris ready and Alex as well. The long bar is going to come and they slam it down, going up to 383,000 points. Uh, just shy of Tetris ready, but Eric very Tetris ready. Waiting on this long bar seems to have found a little drought in the seed. Keeps that well open, Ooh, is able nice. to whip that long bar over, and is rewarded for how high that stack was. Was able to score another Tetris, currently at 390,000 points. I love this. I actually love Eric setting up that long bar. That long bar dependency purpose. was intelligent. Yes. yes. Uh, so far as the stack health was concerned, that was just a bright move. And a nice and a beautiful so overhang. Stayed so patient for that J. Oh, I, okay. Oh, let's see it. Yeah. There it goes. Yes. Wow, look at that. and is probably gonna look for a single burn that they can pull across this well. The line oh, spin. Oh, the line spin. They oh, were like, man. they were like, screw you burns. <laughs> <laughs> it's line spin time. Slams down another Tetris. Beautifully rewarded once again. Uh, getting out of those tough, tough situations and just making so much, uh, so many beautiful plays as a result. And uh, that's gonna be 503 here for Alex. And on the other side, uh, Eric currently sitting at 488. So, uh, the, you know, transition around the corner, but definitely not a dire thought in our minds just yet. Not just yet. Nice tee to the left. Yeah. So both players are already thinking about the transitioning and you know, trying to prep that board. We see an intense yeah. slope forming for Alex. Alex really pushing that left high, slamming that Tetris down, pushing that left high, letting that right be low. Another nice. Tetris there. And uh, hitting transition. Uh, both players now at this point, we have 564 for Eric and 619 for Alex. Another Tetris for Eric. Really, it's just like all the other the other two games, just killer action, and it's gonna come down to something explosive at the end. Whatever happens in posts happens in posts. <laughs> <laughs> so Alex is holding on to this seventy thousand point lead, and Alex also has quite a few lines at hand. So it's a really nice lead here for Alex. I would actually say almost a level at times. Yeah. Almost an entire level in pocket, which is genuinely impressive. Uh, some pretty 
quick thinking burns here, these these fast, clever burns here for Eric. Oh, trying to open that well back up, and oh, they're yes. perfect. We are Tetris ready and just waiting on the bar. Oh, so patient for this bar and not putting anything else in there to block it off. Boom, Tetris for Eric. So that's that is 60, be... uh, 690. I wanted to say 69 so bad so I could say <laughs> hey now. So I'm going to do it anyway, hey now. Yeah. Uh, 691 here for Eric, who's once again in a tough spot. But we've seen that survival. We can't get too hung up on it. So that is to say Alex on the other side currently at 888. Wow, that was a fun number to look at. <laughs> <laughs> eight, eight, eight. <laughs> Yeah, so back in the good old days, you know, this will be a really tough lead to, to uh, surmount, but Eric knows that they've got that kill screen on hand to, you know, to help them if they still need to make up more of this lead. So we're going to see if these players are going to take it all the way there. It's also important to keep in mind that Alex is capable of post-post. Absolutely, so both players are capable of it. Even, even if Eric is able to, you know, get a little edge because of that post-post, it's it's going to be hard to just completely rely on that. Oh, and, and then look at Alex right now. Alex is now in a tough situation. A beautiful survival, though. These these placements yeah. going extremely well for oh, them. Yes. Just about to have that well open there. It is slams Boom, down the Tetris. Tetris. Alex. Currently sitting at 980. Yeah, Alex is about to max Just out. Just shy of the max. There it is. That's going to be max it. out for Alex. There you go. We got the A on the board, A14. And on the other side at eight, uh, 881,000 points. Uh, just hitting level 28, which means kill screen is looming. But again, you do have post kill screen you can Boom. work on. Eric doing some low, row two strats. Okay, Eric goes into the post post. So Eric has a huge chase down, and Alex is still going, still trying to rack up Tetris, another Tetris. Alex is the ahead on by, the board. Yep, almost 200,000 point lead. And another Tetris into kill screen, B is 67 here for Alex. And Eric, who is Ooh. just full sending, has a bit of a misdrop. Come on, look at that long bar. Oh, oh and the long left. bar gets and hung. That's going to be it. Alex, Alex takes, takes that it. one. Three to zero. Gee, geez. That, that was a crazy match, guys. That, that was, was awesome. Insane. Insane. You guys killed it. Well, I say let's get this thing counted down. Here we go. Three, Three, two, two one, one. Tetris. Tetris. Let's go. Yeah, all right. The two least recognizable voices in Tetris. Thank you, Renz. Very good job. Of course. So, of course, we've got Ella, former CTM Masters event champion. Twice? Two times? I believe two times, yes. Two times. That's right. And Benji Boy, who has won nothing. But that's okay. <laughs> But he's you know, looking good. Yeah. I know, yeah, he's just strapping. He's grown up, man. He's grown up. I, I don't remember know, Benji was a little boy <laughs> playing Doge on yeah, like, Benji man. monthly Tetris. I mean, come on. It's Benji Man, that's right. All right, same score, same line, Kingsman. You know I love it. And they kind of have the same stack ish. <laughs> Very similar. Oh, there you go. That little S on Ella's side. And they're of the just tuck. building, going through the same drought. Oh, they got the scores in. Man, that's nice. Oh, look at that, look at that number there, man. Oh, <laughs> favorite score Ooh, right there. Ooh, I know. Oh, nifty little bridge burn there for Ella. 93-480 for both players, 19 lives. We are best of five. Is that right? It is best of five here in the winner's circle, yes. Yeah, best of five on the winner's side. And then when we get to the loser's side, it will be best of three. So you want to stay on that winner's side because you don't want the, the vagaries of chance to, uh, I don't know, whatever, to uh, to knock you out. Right. You don't want to get you don't want to get knocked down to the loser side there. You don't want to you don't want to be considered a loser, right? Can we can we say loser now? Man? I mean people get yeah. people get kind of conscious about that. maybe they call it second chance brackets. Like Se what, where yeah. do you stand on that? Uh well whatever bracket you're in, Kingsman, we can definitely call no. the loser's bracket. <laughs> Hi -yo. Hi -yo. Hi -yo. <laughs> the zing the zing's already started here. We're not, we're not even like warming up these seats yet and he's already zinging me. Yep, 207 Ella, 185 Benji Boy. Do I have to give score checks? Can they even hear us? I have no idea. I mean, this is a day and age, man. They're just screen checking anyway. They, they, they don't checking. need us anymore. 
right? That's true. But, you know, they, the, the audience needs us to read off what they can plainly see with their own eyes. That and is 211, Benji. 230 for Ella. Now, Kingsman, how... How many points is the Tetris here at level 18? Oh, well, for those that don't know at home, you want to play around, it's 22,800 points without pushing down, man, without pushing down. But That's true. those pushdown points can, uh, Harry Hong will tell you, see, they're very important. Yeah, no, they have no effect on anything ever. No. Well, but you know what can have an effect, man, is that maybe maybe you at home or maybe people here at the convention, they want to add to the match arena of the body. You can see that total that we got, 281 right now in the kitty. Thanks for everybody for contributing today, but we need, we need some more in the pot there. Let, these players came a long way to showcase their talents. Do what you can, contribute to the match arena, click the, the link in the chat, someone will hit it there, and check it out, add to the prize pool. That's right, yeah, what, what, what is it? CTM.gg slash match arena if you are in Twitch, oh no, anywhere. You can just type that into a web browser. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Eight, one, All right, here we go. Bank Tetris for Benji Boy, 349, 348 for Ella waiting on the long bar. It seems like that's how we always play Classic Tetris. We're just waiting on a bar, bro, you know? I was, I was trying to do a little bit of dash quals today, man, and yep. I, that was my uh, top out story. I don't know, no bars. Waiting on the bar, bro. That's it. All right, they, I mean, they are super close. They couldn't be any closer, and it's been, like, the whole time. They are keeping, like, perfect pace with one another. That's been a pretty good pretty good match. And, again, I haven't really seen Benji. I mean, we've seen Ella playing a lot on uh, Hydrants and Eternies all the time. They're always playing, like, some fun, crazy modes. But you can tell she she's in it. She's been playing very well. Had a good qualifier today to make it into this thing. What was it, uh, Van? It was like 9.30 was like the low cutoff for, yeah. for this one, 24 seed. That, that was Eric ICX came <laughs> in at the 24 seed right at the last minute. The world champion, right? Oh, my word. Well, to be fair, Eric is on our technical crew. That's right. So did not necessarily get all the qualifying chances. So Correct. for you, Raz, Eric, too bad. You know, the, uh, a, a, lot of the, a lot of the credit goes to Eric for the look of the stream today. Oh, look at the Benji getting up a little high, Van. Got to open up that right side. Maybe he's Stay alive a little bit longer. Yeah, Ella able able to open up a little bit of a lead. Ooh, simul bangerangs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Frame perfect. Bangerangs. Bang a simul bangerangs. Yeah, speaking of bangerangs, Friday night fights for you last night live at the Shoal Creek Saloon. Yeah. Kingsman, I think we need more live friendlies. Do we? <laughs> no. no. Hey, well, no. Especially when you got two CRTs just facing the screen there. Yeah. But it actually was a really nice vibe there, man. It kind of gave, it, it stuck with that retro look. You know, basically, remember back in the, the late 90s where everybody's recording their Tetris games yeah. and whatnot, or early 2000s, and they had to use a VHS recorder. Do you people know what a VHS is still? No. <laughs> uh, very hype sister. Yes. That's what it stands for. Remember, remember how to cleaning your tape heads, man? Yeah, I, I do. I clean my, my tape head this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, 603 here for Ella, 14 lines away from the level 19 transition. Tetris. And bang a Tetris for Benji, 568. So some big time transitions here going into 19. I mean, look at that, 648. I mean, we can, we can get close to... Almost like a 690 almost yeah, on six, Ella's side. 671 and yeah, two lines away. One more Tetris available before the level 19 transition for Ella. I would say, man, this is a pretty, this is a pretty good seed. I'm just saying, it's it pretty is. damn good. All right, Benji gonna transition first, 639 into 19. Ella gonna transition with that double. Gonna clean away the right side, trying to get set up for that Tetris. And waiting on the bar. Taking a skim, and there's the bar bank Tetris for Ella. 703 into 20. Yeah, 667 for Benji Boy, becoming a man before your eyes right here. We're going to try to stop Ella in this game. Best of five, as Van mentioned, so, you know, I want to try to get out the gate real hot here. Yeah, these are big time scores here on 20. You love to see it. And, and you know, Unaccustomed. Maybe some people are unaccustomed these days, Van. You know, we see Ella doing the rolling technique, but, but Benji's sticking a tap. Isn't that crazy to oh, see a tapper? I didn't even notice. Wow. I'm, I'm running on empty king. Last night took a lot out of me, <laughs> believe me. I, I can imagine, man. You know, you were hanging out with Flex Style all night, right? You guys were partying it up I, oh, in the man. corner. Yeah, we, it, was, it was lit, bro. It was like taking you back to your college days, blood. No. Well, we were just sitting alone crying because no one will talk to us. <laughs> Is that what it was? 
Uh, is that what that river that was strolling down the stream yeah. there? The river Benji, of Tears. Benji able to keep scoring while Ella was burning and now in the lead by a small margin. By 10,000 points, one line apart. Oh, man, Van. If you only had a neck and neck here, right? Yeah. I Aren't you the one who made it? I don't think between the two of us we have one visible <laughs> neck. <laughs> I haven't seen mine since uh, 1999, so. H haven't seen your what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> there we go. See, this is the part of the later end of the stream. That, yeah, you got the nonsense happening. That's it. 891, Ella back in the lead. Benji going to take it back, 904. It's great to see so many of our friends here in person. We're, you know, we're trying to casually say, oh, who are the top 10 players in the world? And kind of came up with a list, you know, and then it was like, well, seven of, the, seven of them are here. Yeah. In Austin, Texas. That's true. <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a tournament with eight consoles. <laughs> All right, Benji with the max out here on 26 King. Yeah, he's been he's been solid since the 19 play. You know, Ella had the high transition and you know nearly 700k. But if you look going into 25, he's only been able to get about 200k. While Benji's been rocking it. All right, Benji, nice uh, delayed burn here. Sets up the Tetris, gets it. A69, 240. And some numbers, King. And now. <laughs> I love those numbers, man. That's a really massive score. Oh. And there's another one. We're going to go to 1.1 1 .1 on Benji's side. 834 on uh, Ella's. Yeah, finally with the max out, Ella, and another Tetris. And remember, we do have a level 39 super kill screen. So they will get 10 lines of level 29 speed. And then. Uh, it'll go really fast and no one will survive. K9 watching Tetris, thanks for the 100 bits. Go Ella's is K9. Oh, nice tuck here. Board's getting a little bit high for uh, both players going into this 29. Oh, that right side for Benji. That's concerning. No, oh, we need a bar right now. Oh no, Benji gonna top out B44. Ella gonna take a triple B23. Needs a bit, like less than a Tetris to chase this down, but that left side. We need a bar. We need over. a bar. Can't get the bar. Takes the triple B27 and cannot chase no! it down. Ella will top out B27. Benji hangs on. GG. 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 I should do my King's Band the whole time and just see. Well, then you won't have a voice for tomorrow. Who's going to oh. run the show here? Come yeah, on. that's true. All right, well, wrong, wrong dot. Ready from Benji Boy King, why don't you count it down? Oh, most certainly in three, two, one, Tetris, let's go. <laughs> oh, we got Lucas here in the chat. Lucas, three, two, four, one says, I love the old college buddies vibe that King and Vandy got going on. Man, I mean, we could have been college buddies, right? Did you go to college? Uh, yeah, successfully, too. You did? You finished? I did, yeah. Imagine, right? You're a college graduate? I'm a college graduate. Well, Four-year degree. Hard to believe. Four, well, because not everybody can be a philosophy major like you that, yeah. you know, sits under the tree thinking about Copernicus or whoever, right? <laughs> yeah, Copernicus, Cop great philosopher. <laughs> Copernicus. What do you want? Because you, know, you use Socrates? Is that that's his name? Yeah, so Socrates? Socrates. Socrates. Yeah. You can tell, tell I know all my philosophy from Bill and Ted. That's right. All, all your philosophers, Socrates. That's Is that right. name? Name three philosophers. Well, didn't I say Copernicus, right? No, Copernicus <laughs> was an astronomer. Uh, what do you got? You got um, Sophocles. Right? Sophocles was a playwright. He was a playwright. Was it not a philosopher? I thought he was study. I thought he was a philosopher. Sorry. No, he was, a, he was a playwright. What about um, what about Plato? Plato was a philosopher. All right, good. He's one, right? Um, what about is Zeus one? Zeus is Zeus? a fictional character. Fictional. I mean, well, all right. If there's anybody who believes in the ancient old gods of Greece, I apologize for ridiculing your religion. I was about to say, you just insulted Lapis, right? He's going to come all the way from Macedonia to talk to you about that, man. <laughs> all right, 62,000 here for Benji. Try oh, One row off the bottom, set up for a Tetris. Going to get that Tetris and bring this stack down. 85,000. Ella with a Tetris, 165. All right, so we've got, we've got two philosophers, right? Socrates and Plato. Got one more kick. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to remember all the books I sell, man. <laughs> yeah. In the philosophy section, who do I know there? Man, I don't know any other ones. Those are like the only two that I ever see any professor order. Yeah, it'd be really funny if you just came out of the blue and you're like, oh yeah, Wittgenstein. I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yeah, perfect. Kurt Vonnegut? What? Kurt Vonnegut? <laughs> no. Right, there you go. Oh my God, King. Okay. 190 for Ella, 154 for Benji Boy. 
Oh, of course, your chick Bellow give me the easiest one that I cannot remember. Aristotle. Aristotle, there you go. Man, oh man. Maybe I got him and Copernicus confused there, Van. All right, 177 Benji, 214 Ella. Yeah, a pretty close game, man. I mean, about what two Tetris's difference here, and I'll make it three. That Ella got one there, and Benji gonna burn around again. Still, so still, so unique to see a, a tapper, right? So, so strange to see that. Yeah, it is weird. Actually, set up for or almost could have been set up for a Tetris here. Oh, all right, here we go. And finally, long bar down the right side. Benji still riding one row off the bottom. We'll see if Benji tries to kind of transition this over, get rid of that gap, but no, actually gonna. Try to continue to set up for the Tetris here. Got Noel saying Voltaire. Is Voltaire a philosopher too? Voltaire, I don't know. What do I think? I think of Voltaire as more of an essayist. Ooh, a little bit of a misdrop of a T piece and the J. Oh man, this board for Ella spiraling oh, out, man. And kind of all in on that. Oh no, covered the well. 311 top out for Ella. Benji with the chase down needs about. 40,000 points, 41,000 points. I think Ella was not a Voltaire fan on that one, man. Oh, because they're choosing Kant, so that's Emmanuel Kant. All right, now Kingsman, you try to get me to name something important, like wrestlers. <laughs> I mean, give me, Name five wrestlers from the 1980s, man. Because five wrestlers. Yeah, I won't. I won't ask you anybody from the 90s, because right. God forbid you would watch uh, that. George the Animal Steel. There's Junk one. Yard Dog. Andre the Giant. Um, the Hacksaw Jim Duggan. And <laughs> oh. Hulk Hogan. There you go. Imagine naming Hulk Hogan fit. Yeah, I know his world. He doesn't know my world at all. <laughs> Still trying to chase this down. Six thousand or so points. Benji just singling and doubling. No need to set up going to check down mode here oh well actually maybe get a little risky bisky trying to finish it up with a tetris it's waiting on that long bar gonna pile up pieces and there we go the triple to seal it benji with a uh, uh strong lead here two games to none over lm kingsman we got two ready players what do we do we count them down ladies and gentlemen let's do it in three two, two one, one tetris. tetris oh double s Love it. Man, you got you got the chat going with this philosophy talk, man. Sun Tzu. Is Sun Tzu a philosopher? Sun Tzu is a philosopher. Uh, the Art of War. The you read that book, man? Uh, I live it every day. Oh, man. The struggle you must go through. That's it. <laughs> Ric Flair. Woo! We should do a game where I name a philosopher, and then you have to name a wrestler whose name begins with the last letter of the philosopher. We keep chaining that until someone stops. Oh, that'd be a pretty unique game to play, yeah. right? It's like we played the geography game when I was a kid. You had to do that. Oh, like, oh, you know, oh, Arkansas. And then you go to Salem, and then someone says Massachusetts, and then someone's, you know, didn't play that game? No, not much. Oh. I actually had a life back when I was a kid. <laughs> I, was, I was playing this game. I was playing Nintendo. <laughs> oh, that's true, true. <laughs> And trading baseball cards, right, Van? Well, I did that as well. Yeah. You were a Topps or a Dundras guy? Dundras never felt real to me. T yeah, I agree. T Topps had gravitas. You know, it felt like this is real. Dundras is like, you know, they, they give a crap. They're just a cash grab. I also like Upper Deck, though. Upper Deck had pretty uh, had some nice cards there. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, did, did you collect a certain player? I mean, well, I had a um, Fred McGriff uh, upper deck card. And he uh, going into the Hall of Fame on Sunday, Van. You and you had a you had a Fred McGriff card. Yeah, I had a Fred McGriff card. Yeah, 1993 Fred McGriff. That's what, you were rich. Remember that random? Card? I, yeah, because I, I remember how much I hated the Braves. So I was like, how did I get this card? He was a Brave by that point. Yeah, too. the big time Brave. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what, when you collected baseball cards, did you collect sets, players, teams? What did you collect? Uh, I've mostly teams. So you know, like, so what the Mets? The Mets, obviously, right? Yeah. Uh, but I always felt like I ended up getting stuck mostly with the Orioles. Oh, I remember yeah. having like seven Cal Ripken Jr. cards. Yeah. Oh, Benji, getting a little bit high on the board here. 172, looking for a well-timed long bar, and gets a long bar. Bang, Tetris, Benji. Very oh, nice, done. Spin from Ella. 
You think these players know anything about baseball cards, man? No. No. They, they don't know who Tim Tuffle was. Oh, my God. Danny Keep. Uh, how about Chris Sabo? Chris Sabo? <laughs> oh. That's that's a shout out to Bidwell. That's his favorite player of all time. Really oh Sabo? yeah, he loves Chris Sabo. Is he rookie of the year, '88. I don't remember. I think so. 247 Benji, 268 Ella, one Tetris behind. Ella playing one off the bottom at 314 Pi Day right there. When was the last time you seen Benji play, Van? Uh, well, probably the first time I've seen Benji play. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm impressed. Benji, I mean, keeping pace, you know, Ella, I mean, big paces and just doing really well. Two games up over uh, CTM Masters event champion. Yeah. Oh, no, tried to do the Corian thing, but we couldn't quite get the spin here, so. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, they're going to get the long bar here for the assistance to keep that board under control. I'm going to make the long bar dependency for a Danny Tetris. I had to get my stuff in, man. You know that. Yeah, get your stuff in. <laughs> hey, listen, this is, this is what you get when you have me come in. How do you expect? I know. Dewey says, I ran from the pub to listen to King and Vandy talk about baseball cards. Oh, wow. That's right. I imagine Dewey actually running from the pub. I mean, the guy lives there. Come on. See yeah. the profile picture? <laughs> <laughs> guy guy has a uh, surgically placed uh, glass on his lip. That, that never comes off. <laughs> 395 here for Benji looking to clear oh, this away. Oh, nice. There's Love that adjustment. I like that. I like that S flat from Ella. Didn't want to block the well. Just placed it right there. Get the tuck set up. Oh, Tetris for Ella. Go to 489. Benji at 443. Van, we are past the Joey Parker turn. Your favorite terminology. Oh yeah, that's, let's uh, make the turn happen. There is, uh, don't even get me started on the turn. <laughs> the for those turn. of you who don't know anything about this. <laughs> What is it, Joey Parker? It's Joey Parker. Isn't he a native of Texas? Joey Parker, native, probably watching right now. Try, trying to create terminology that is meaningless, <laughs> in my opinion. Five twelve here, Benji. Five thirty six, Ella. So basically, a Tetris separating these two players. And see Van saying terminology that doesn't mean anything. That's why Joey Parker's not here because he doesn't want to hear Van say that. <laughs> That's right. Really tight game, Van, as we're getting ready for that 19 speed. There we go. Oh. Uh oh. Tough spot here for Ella. Ella scrambling here. And no, Ella going to top out 546. Benji needs two 1,000 points. And that one line should do it. There it is, Benji is going to take Ella in a sweep. Ella has been relegated to the the nice person bracket, the you tried bracket. The participant trophy bracket? That's it. All right. Ella, don't, don't go anywhere. I don't know what we're doing today. But GG's Benji. And uh, do we report this or what? Uh, well, Pumpy was hoping somebody, a mod or a super streamer, right, was hanging around. So yeah, is there a super streamer in the chat who wants to report this match? That would be amazing. Or are they all here? There's a good amount of them here. Oh, Renz reported it. Thank you, Renz. Renz is on it. All right, what, what's the next match? I don't even know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Where, where's uh, where's our show run here? Don't we have a show run? No. Totally. <laughs> the run the run list where is it man hey everybody this is your old pal van dweller host of classic tetris monthly and i'm asking you to do me a favor if you like this video hit thumbs up if you want to see more videos like it please subscribe and bang that notification bell and follow us on twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly tetris thank you and have a nice day